Hi, I'm Dan Tangway. I'm the game director of Crash Bandicoot: The Insane Trilogy. Dan, what are you showing here new at E3 with Crash Bandicoot: Insane Trilogy? Um, so, what are we show uh, What are we showing new uh, today? We are showing uh, and revealing playable Coco. Uh, Coco is the kid sister of Crash Bandicoot, and now she is uh, fully playable across all three of the original titles. And that's kind of a big deal because she was in the, some of the games, but you can only play her in certain sections before. That's right. You could only play her in the third game, and in the third game you could only play her either riding her Tiger Pura or uh, driving vehicles such as a jet ski or biplane. So talk about what you did to implement her into the game. Um, so this was really a, a, a team-driven effort, and uh, you know, a number of folks who were on the crash team came to us early on and said, hey, you know, it would be really, really cool if we could you know, get her into the game, and we said, yeah, but we don't really have any time. <laughs> and so, you know, they persisted, and uh, we actually had a, a company-wide game jam uh, last year. And they chose to make Playable Coco as their game jam entry. And once we saw it, we were like, mm, yeah, I guess I think we need to put her in. So, so that was the start of it. And then we really, really just wanted to make sure we, she was a, a fully flesh, fleshed out feature. So, um, yeah, we just had to make sure that... Uh, she really had the, the same personality and uh, fun as Crash. So um, once we knew that the, the core of her was fun, it was just a matter of really kind of filling out the rest. So talk about some of the new features you're implementing into the game as well. You mentioned leader, leaderboards. That's right. So um, we will have leaderboards, and the leaderboards will be for time trials. We've taken the, the time trials from the third game, and we've expanded them across all three games at this point. So we'll have, I don't know, it's like 80 plus time trials, which means 80 plus leaderboards to compete with your, your friends and other players on. Talk about um, what you use as far as archives and records of the old Crash Bandicoot games to help make your game a reality. Um, we uh, basically, for the most part, started from scratch. Um, this is a pretty non-traditional remaster. And so uh, we were lucky enough to get uh, a hard drive from Sony and Naughty Dog that contained uh, the original level geometry. And that was kind of our guiding star. That allowed us to you know, basically say, OK, we know that the gameplay will work if it works on this geometry. And that formed kind of the baseline collision of the levels. And then we had to build everything else to match that. What are some of the challenges when taking uh, a character like Crash that's really old, 20 years old, and revamping him to make him look the same, but obviously he was really pixelated and jaggedy in the PlayStation era? Mm -hmm. um, no, it's, it's certainly been interesting bringing Crash back to life at this point. Um, you're right in that he had, uh, you know, he was a lot less detailed in some ways in the original game, but in, in other ways he actually had a lot of detail. Um, they did a, a great job in animating and bringing that cartoon nature to life. So um, certainly the level of detail, for example, on the character himself um, lent it a, a good opportunity for us to create fur. And that fur gave us the level of detail that gamers expect these days. But then from an animation side, he had all these wonderful cartoon animations that we then had to figure out a way to replicate because the tools that they used uh, back in the day to animate them then we can't use now. Uh, the technology is just advanced beyond that. So we spent a lot of time just building out models and rigs that allowed us to really capture those cartoon expressions. If the game sell, will we see a new Crash Bandicoot game or even a return of the kart racing game? Oh, I certainly hope so, but we'll see. It really depends on how well these do. And when does Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy come out? What platform it will be on? Crash Bandicoot The Insane Trilogy comes out June 30th on the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 4 Pro.